Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, MySQL 8 uh, database administration. Uh, in the previous uh, session, we have talked about how the MySQL server locking uh, works, and uh, I told you that I will be covering uh, the InnoDB locking as well. And today, uh, I will be uh, working on InnoDB locks. And today, we will be only working on shared and exclusive lock and then intentional locks uh, because they two are quite uh, lengthy and very the basic uh, type of uh, locks which we need to understand how the internal locking work in InnoDB locking. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and you are new here, so please uh, subscribe to the channel and this uh, help us to uh, grow the channel and uh, so the lectures can be shared, can be viewed by many others as well. So this help to grow the channel. So please subscribe to the channel and let's start uh, with our today today. Uh, today we are working on uh, shared and exclusive locks. So what is a shared lock and what is an exclusive lock so the shared lock indicates uh, that a transaction intends to set a shared lock on individual rows okay uh, in a table or, or it can be an individual rows in a table okay so if this was a read lock then that would be a uh, and it was a table level then i would say that lock on lock on individual table okay so that would be a table level lock but if you are talking here on in odb so i'm talking i'm i'm taking this lock as a shared lock on individual rows so it's a very granular level of lock okay and what it does when you select for share it's what it does is it's create an intention lock okay we will talk about this intention lock what is this uh, later on so this means when you lock a shared lock so on some individual rows then that rows is only available for select so other session cannot uh, do the modification it cannot on the cannot write update or delete on this uh, certain rows when it's uh, shared okay so neither the session in himself or not another session can do the mo modification on these rows when a shared lock is uh, taken on particular row and then we have exclusive uh, lock which indicates that transaction intended to set an exclusive lock on individual rows in a table so just like the name says exclusive just mean so it says that uh, when a transaction uh, gets exclusive lock that what is mean by this that I am the only one who is holding the uh, particular amount of rows and only I am allowed to select and modify the data uh, which I have locked and other session nor neither can read that and neither they can uh, what do you say modify those uh, transaction okay so uh, let me uh, give you uh, some like drama uh, this transaction examples let's say uh, we have a row let's say this is a row okay and uh, I have uh, let's say transaction one and it's come here and it says that I want to have a shared lock okay uh, this s is for shared and now let's say this is a row in a table let's say this is a, a table okay and inside we have this uh, row and the t1 has locked a shared lock and this row and then another like uh, transaction 2 come here let's say this is a transaction okay so you do okay so another transaction comes here and it wants uh, another lock okay some another uh, and it's, uh, it says that I want uh, a shared lock so okay so if come here and is asked for another shared lock then it can be granted okay so this shared lock will be granted so and let's say a transaction 3 comes here and it wants on this row exclusive lock so because it wants some modification and it says that I want to exclusive lock so that's not can this cannot be granted okay so this will not be granted and so this is how it's gonna work and and let's say I have a another transaction any end transaction and it's what it had already held uh, an exclusive lock uh, that is X lock uh, on row then any kind of transaction let's uh, transaction and and then it's want to come and it's want either shared lock okay either x lock exclusive lock so these are not permitted okay so if uh, a transaction have uh, an exclusive lock on a row or, or multiple rows in a table so that uh, are locked so this 
pattern is not allowed and in this case uh, this and this is allowed so this was like a bit of uh, of the graphical uh, graphical explanation i wanted to show you how this works okay so let me do some example uh, before that uh, what i have done here is that uh, uh, i have uh, set the auto commit to zero because uh, what happened is when you uh, hit the the keyword begin what it does is that it uh, implicitly uh, cause the unlock tables okay so instead uh, we we disable this uh, auto commit uh, so that it um, so that it does not uh, uh, do the commit and we uh, whatever we do here is always uh, part of a transaction uh, so we do we do not need to start transaction every time so okay so let's do the example here uh, i have uh, a table here and do some changes in my key okay this I'm going to uh, lock these two tables inside the bank database uh, account and a branch and the account one for the read and the branch one for the write okay so that's what I have done here and uh, let me show you that uh, what's happening here uh, from this query uh, if I execute this if you can see here that uh, uh, the okay so the, okay you say bank query to do it for yeah let me update the query for the bank and let's execute that sorry i think it's missing something yes we did it yeah so uh, if you see here uh, the account and the branch has been uh, locked for shared only and shared read only uh, this one also because uh, it might have some primary keys uh, coming from the account uh, and that's why this has uh, been uh, locked uh, for shared read only as well so this lock has been granted as well okay so now uh, based on the this id let me show you that what are our active transaction so which can be achieved from here sorry what what was it? it was 58 i guess yeah it's 58 and let's uh, grab this one as well and based on this uh, we can um, what do you say we can get our uh, transaction id so we can know that what is our uh, active transaction which is causing the lock so this is the transaction id uh, which is causing our lock and let me show you uh, the data locks uh, what kind of data locks has been locked on our database okay you see here uh, branch and account and the branch table has been given uh, this uh, shared uh, and this one has been given exclusive lock uh, because uh, we have uh, locked this table account one for the read and the branch one for the write uh, so this is how uh, it works and the loan one is coming from I guess uh, just uh, to fulfill this uh, isolation levels uh, they have been given a shared read only but I guess you can uh, update and uh, do anything on this loan table as well so this was uh, about uh, how uh, our this uh, what do you say uh, shared and exclusive locks work uh, i guess the video is becoming long one and uh, so i will cover this intention locks in another separate video for that and so guys if you like this tutorial please like subscribe and share and thank you so much guys